All right, guys, as promised, we're gonna take a look at this whole house rough-in plumbing. It's all tested, been inspected, and ready for sheetrock. Listen, I like keeping these videos pretty short and to the point, but as you guys know, if you're plumbers, these uh, houses entail a lot of work and there's a lot to it. So I try to condense it, keep it as short as I can. Feel free to pause it at any point, take a look at things, send me questions, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. But let's take a look at this whole house rough-in. Okay, so in that slab video, we referenced stack number one coming up. So this is stack number one, how it trimmed out for the rough end. We did a 45 degree offset, to get it up in a space where we could go through the joist and get the pitch that we needed. You have to excuse me, I was hoping to get back here before the uh, HVAC guys got in, so we'll have to look around some of the duct work. That's a three inch line going over. Trust me, it goes through a uh, three inch sweep. Comes along right here. The rest of the job is pretty clean, but this is a lot of duct on this one. There's a three by two Y that comes through. We'll walk over to that in a minute. The three inch continues out and then right there goes up, turns up into a 90 for a toilet. All this is done for North Carolina plumbing code. That three by two, let me walk over here, comes out. 45 is over and then a two inch combo goes over to a two inch P trap for a shower. Then out of the top of that combo, it goes over and sweeps for a lavatory where everything is wet vented. That toilet and the shower is wet vented through that lavatory there. If you have any questions about venting, you can go back and watch my basics of venting and plumbing in four minute video. A lot of that is explained in that. All right, this is the bathroom above stack number one where we just walked through it. There's the toilet and the lavatory rough in. And then over here we have the shower. The tile guys are going to come in and do the Schluter system here for the uh, tile shower base. Got a mowing shower valve that's going to go, that goes up and over. And they're going to have a handheld shower in there. And then the vent for stack number one, inch and a half. It was half the size of the drain serve, which is a three inch drain. Comes up and goes over. And then I'll show you in a second, but it goes, it's, it turns up and goes up through the roof as it ties in to um, the vent from stack number two. All right, this is stack number two. Serves one bathroom on the upper floor. Comes up, 90s over, and then sweeps three inch across to uh, a toilet where it turns up and goes into the toilet. You can see the three by two combination there. And then the two inch combo that goes over and do a sweep and then turns up right there. You can kind of see it between the joists where it turns up and goes up to the lavatory. I'll show you that upstairs in a second. And then out of the top of that two inch combo, it comes over for a, another tile shower. And this is um, a garage area, so I insulated that P-trap. As far as PVC, always try to keep your joints really nice and clean. Control the primer. I know it's easy to get that on uh, all over the place if you're not careful, but um, take a lot of pride in what we're doing and take a lot of pride in what you're doing too and um, makes it come out a lot better. All right, so this is upstairs on stack number two. We've got a toilet rough in there. There's the vanity, the lavatory where that vent comes up, ties in here. And that goes on down right there and ties into that other inch and a half vent from stack number one. Again, this is the bathroom above stack number two. And then there's a tile shower here. Another mowing shower valve. Goes up and over. And going to have a handheld on it right there. All right, so this is stack number three. If you remember from the slab video, we said this one was going to be our workhorse. It's got a lot of um, fixture units on it. So we came up, split off, and made another stack. We'll go, we'll talk through the stack on the right real quick. You can see it, uh, three inch wide comes over to a, to a 45, comes into another three inch wide, that comes over. This is a three inch horizontal line that goes over to a bar sink and a lavatory, or excuse me, the laundry. Um, so right there is a three by two that comes over and goes to the bar sink. And 
Off to the left, there's that three inch that turns up and that goes to a washing machine box. And I'll show you that upstairs. All right, so let's backtrack a little bit. Now, that stack on the right comes up and goes into a heel outlet. This goes up for the toilet and out of the back of the heel outlet is a two inch combo into a P-trap uh, for a tub shower. And all this is vented through the lavatory, which comes over this way, sweeps over and sweeps up into um, a lavatory drain. And now we'll come back over to this and go to the left. You see that stack that comes up into a 90 and turns here. Right there, you can see there's a 45. Into a sweep that goes up to a three inch stack that goes up to the top floor of the house. And I'll walk you through that in a second. Okay, before we get to the top floor, this is the tub shower, that bath we just talked about downstairs. There's the rough end for the lavatory into an air men's box or a air men's valve. And there's where the toilet's gonna go. Now, excuse the wire, but this is the rough end for one of the laundry boxes or the washing machine boxes and it comes up and goes into an air admittance box and we actually have a water heater going in here as well that's where the water heater stub out is going to go got my pan drain right there in the corner for the drain to go outside of the house for the water heater pan and then you can see this right here that line I'm gonna that blue line there is I'm going to be separate system. I can put a shutoff valve on that, and that's going to control all the exterior hose jibs. All right, so we'll walk around here real quick. There's that bar sink I was talking about underneath. And then if you remember, we went over and there was another stack going to the top floor of the house, which is right here. Cast iron stack. This is a uh, living area, so just for sound to put a cast iron stack in here. That comes up into a three by two Y. And out of that three by two, the two inch comes over. Sweeps right here and then goes over and turns up and goes to an island kitchen sink. We'll backtrack so we don't get too confused. Listen, I know this is a lot. Just kind of slow it down, pause it and um, Take the time you need to understand where we're at if you can, or ask me any questions. But I just want to go through all this pretty slowly just to make sure that um, you're catching all this. All right, so that three inch comes over from the right into a three inch combination. You can see it right there. Um, we'll take, I'll go out of the left of that first. That three inch comes over into another three inch Y into a 45 that three inch on the left right there goes to another laundry which is on the top floor and that turns up and goes into a washing machine box i'll show you that in a second that pvc that inch and a half pvc right there is where it turns up that's from where stack one and two tie together that's the vent for them it goes up and ties into a two inch that goes through the roof i'll show you that in a second we'll backtrack just a little bit out of that three inch on the right there goes and turns up for a toilet and that two inch goes out i have to go through the slider door but that goes out into a couple of lavatories and i'll show you that in a second the last part on this three inch line where it comes out right here is serving a half bath you'll see i put a three inch side outlet that goes up for the toilet and that two inch comes out and vents that toilet through a lavatory, which goes up right there. Okay. Now, over this way, like I showed you on that right three inch line, it goes up for a toilet. That two inch goes outside. Goes through right there. And it has on it two lavatories. Comes straight out of that two inch. You'll see it turns up right there for a lav 
That two inch line on the left right here goes over, sweeps for another lavatory and turns up right there for a lav. And if we go back, that line that goes to the left, oh, excuse me, to the right goes to a shower. And all that is vented through those two labs that also vents the toilet, which has four fixture units on that wet vent. Okay, so now we're on the top floor in the master bath. There's double vanities here. I actually came up through the cabinets. There's so many LVLs underneath of these outside walls just coming in the cabinets for those vanities. There's the rough end for the master toilet and the master shower here, two valves, one going to a shower head right there. And the other valve comes up and goes to an overhead drench right there. Here is the laundry on the uh, top floor goes up. Now this is our main two inch vent that goes through the roof. You can see off to the left right there, that's that inch and a half coming up for, from stack one and two. That goes up and that inch and a half ties together right there into the two inch. And then off to the right, you can see that other vent line that's coming from the powder room. which comes down and there's the vanity and that toilet that had the side outlet on it from underneath. And that all comes up, ties together. And you can see up there barely, but through that ductwork, you can see a 45 degree offset and that goes right through the roof. And the only other thing up here is the kitchen. There's the kitchen rough end. As far as water line goes, uh, water lines go, I use PEX A expansion. Um, I usually branch off. You can see I have three lines there uh, for the kitchen. It's a hot and a cold. And then I run a specific line from under the kitchen over to where the ice maker goes, which is right here. That's in case someone puts a reverse osmosis system in that they can have. Um, reverse osmosis water to their ice maker as well. Let's go downstairs and talk about the water lines real quick. All right, as far as the water lines go, um, I use the PEX A uh, expansion system. I've really enjoyed using it. It works really well. It's easy to install. You can make it look really good, which is really important to me. On this house, I came in, as big as it is, I came in with inch and a quarter and pretty quickly split it over, split it off into two one inch systems. That's inch and a quarter there. And then of course, right behind that ductwork, I split it off into two one inch systems, which go over and uh, feed a water heater and kind of split the house in half. So you can see some of the uh, um, Pex A work right here. It's a great system, just secure it really well, hang it really well by code but it works really, really well. If you have any questions about any of this, uh, feel free to shoot it to me in the message. Like and subscribe to these videos. I really enjoy helping people understand plumbing, taking the time to explain it in the, in the way that um, can make us all better. It's a great trade to be in, especially now there's a, there's a big need for a lot of uh, good plumbers and it's a really good living for you and your family. Or, and so, um, Let's take a lot of pride in what we're doing. Let me know if I can help you in any way with any questions. Thanks, guys, for watching, as always.